Are you looking for that Valentine's glam for mature skin? Then stay tuned. It's that time again. It is Makeup Monday, and I'm so excited to play with some new makeup and give some old love back for this coming up Valentine's Day. We're gonna do a glam look for the woman with mature skin and dry skin. I've already prepped my skin for makeup today. So let me show you the products we're gonna start off with that are new. Um, I'm gonna try this e.l.f. Poreless uh, Putty Liquid. I tried the primer a really long time ago. It was so dry, I could not use it. So I'm excited to try this, to try to fill in maybe some of those deeper wrinkling wrinkles on my face, see how that works. Uh, we have a new foundation I'm excited to try. This is the Revlon Illuminance. Um, this is looks really, really pretty. I'm excited to try this. I have a new concealer, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Now, most of these are not new products except for this one. And this is the new Juvia's Place Blush Lighters. And let me tell you, I love their blushes. I think they have maybe 10 or so, and I probably have seven of them. So I love it. You need the tiniest dot, gonna last you forever, but they came out with these blush lighters, which is a dewy formula, dewy blush, gonna give that illuminance. So I'm excited to give this a try. And then I also have a new eyebrow gel from Juvia's Place. Uh, so we're gonna see how this works. Uh, anything else here? Let me see, oh. Did you know that there is a clear lip liner and it's made by Maybelline? So we're going to give this clear lip liner a try. Now, if you watched last Monday's video, I went through all of my favorite Maybelline vinyl inks. And so I am going to be wearing this one today in Koi and I'm going to line my lips and see how this works. All right, well, I think that is it for the new. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with the under eye first. I'm gonna try this uh, new Milani Conceal and Perfect. I've heard really great things about this. This is obviously not a new product. It is a, a long wear concealer and I've heard really good things. We'll see how this works under my mature dry under eyes. And this is in the shade 125 Light Natural. It's got the doe foot applicator. So I'm just gonna go right in my inside right here. Uh, one of the things I've learned uh, as a woman with mature eyes is that putting a bunch of product on is going to only enhance my fine lines and wrinkles. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Okay, well, we're going to let that sit. We're going to put on... <laughs> The Elf Poreless Primer. Now, obviously, I'm not used to putting on primer in my steps, so sorry I forgot that, but let's go ahead and give this a try. You can see that it's a little bit, it's more liquid in its um, format. And this is, let's see here, let's go ahead and, oh, it feels nice. It feels nice. It feels very um, soft. It has a little bit of tackiness to it, but not so much. So the makeup should stick pretty well to this. Oh, that has a nice feel. Let's see why that's still soaking in here. Let's see. It says, uh, give some lasting makeup grip and smooth finish with a fan favorite poreless putty primer now in a silky weightless liquid. Um, I would agree this is definitely silky and it does feel very weightless on my skin. Um, wow, 
I'm excited about that. We'll see if it makes any difference. I'm probably using it. It's probably meant to fill in pores when I'm trying to just kind of even out um, filling in my fine lines and wrinkles on my face. So we'll see how that goes. We are going to go ahead and now that this has had a chance to sit, I'm going to use my Nikki LaRose N16 brush and we're just going to go in and press this in. That's nice. We'll see how it um, holds up and wears. Seems to be a pretty good color for brightening and to match my skin tone. And yes, I am one of those who puts on their makeup before doing their eyeshadow. I just like having that kind of complete face look before I put on my eyeshadow. Um, and I just like to dust off my brushes before I put the shadow on in hopes that I don't get a lot of fallout. So that is always my plan. Not always works out that way, <laughs> but that is definitely my plan. Now, like um, I have mentioned before, watching makeup artists on YouTube, you're not going to get 100%. If you are a mature woman, you are not gonna get 100% of not creasing. Now you can help it, uh, but those of us with very mature, crepey, fine lined, heavy lined under eyes, you're gonna get creasing and you can just do your best to minimize that. Um, so that's what I try to do um, because I do have a lot of fine lines um, and crepey skin and loose skin. Um, for those of you who don't know my story, uh, about 20 years ago, I lost over 100 pounds. And so my skin is still, it was loose then from losing the weight and still hasn't bounced back. And especially now that I'm older, the elasticity. And so I have a lot of loose skin, which then leads to more fine lines and wrinkles. So that's where we stand. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give this Revlon Illuminance a try here. Let's see. Um, it is a skin caring foundation. It has 5% squalene hyaluronic acid. It's in the color 301, which I believe is like buff beige or something like that. Um, this claims to be a makeup and skincare in one medium coverage natural finish reduces the appearance of wrinkles over time deeply hydrates skin so now obviously we won't probably notice a difference in the wrinkles right now because i haven't used this over time and as someone who loves to try new things we'll see if this makes it into my everyday rotation um and maybe then I'll get some results over time. But let's just give this a try and see how it looks. I am going to place some on my um, palette here that I like to put my products on. I did about a pump and a half, as you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, oh, let's see here. I think I'm gonna just put this on my face with my finger. Ooh, that feels nice. Might be a little dark. We'll see how it blends out. Um, but then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sigma F80 uh, Kabuki brush. And let's just start tapping that in. Uh, it feels nice. It definitely, um, I think it's an okay color match for me. I mean, and it is doing a pretty nice job of covering my uh, freckling that I have.
yeah, I would say that is, you know, for someone who has a ton of freckling and really is going to show whether it is a, a full coverage, even sometimes uh, tends to show my fine lines or my, I'm sorry, my freckling. And so, um, so here, let me bring you in a little bit and just so you can see here. So it actually is really nice. And I actually think this is a pretty decent color match for me. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do the eyebrows. And I'm going to be using the ColourPop. Still haven't gotten my magnifying glass, so I just put my glasses on. Um, I have the Colorbot Brown Pencil Brow Pencil in Taupe, and then I'm going to use the Feather Effect Brow Pen, and this is in Black Brown, so it gives my eyebrows a little dimension. And then again, we're going to use the uh, new Juvia's new to me Juvia's Place Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Gel in the color Clear. Well, I guess it's not color; it's clear. So those are what I'm going to be using on my eyebrows. So I'm just going to use the pencil to um, mark out my brows. Just to give them a little more shape. I have been playing with um, some cast oil in my eyebrows to see if I can get them to grow out a little bit more and um, I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer here uh, to see if I could get them to grow a little bit more. And I feel like it's making a little bit of a difference right now. I think I'm only a week in, so I'm going to give it 30 days and be on the lookout for, for more results from that. But I definitely feel like it is definitely filling in my brows quite a bit. And so we'll see. I had my uh, eyebrows microbladed uh, probably now going on three years ago, and I lost a lot of um, hair. Uh, and so let's see, I wanna see how that does in bringing back some of the volume. Now I was that 80s, 90s girl that plucked her eyebrows, um, plucked, it's not, you pluck a chicken, you tweeze your eyebrows, um, and so, I was that girl that did that. And so um, I'm not surprised that I have not as much volume. Now, one of the trends for this year is not so much the big fluffy brow, but kind of a little more modified brow. Um, this is actually the first time I'm trying this. I've had it in my drawer for a little bit. Um, for being a black brown, it is definitely more brown and definitely a warmer brown. So definitely darker or definitely lighter than my eyebrow shade, but we'll see how this works. I mean, it's a really nice pen. I've heard, heard a lot of good things about the new Maybelline uh, brow pen. So watch for an upcoming video on that. I picked that up, so I'm excited to give that a try, but I figured I was trying a lot of new things in here. And so, since I want this to be that great quality, you know, a good date night Valentine's look, I thought I would minimize <laughs> the products I was trying. Um, this is okay. It's not great. I love ColourPop. Um, I may try to see if I can get this in taupe. Um, since I really like their taupe pencil. Not sure that I will use that one again, but let's go ahead and I'll just kind of try to darken in my brows then back with my taupe just to give it a little more. Like I like the pen on that. It's very thin, um, but I'm not sure I liked that black brown color because that was definitely more seemed more orange than brown. So not the greatest here, but let's see if we can redeem it with the brow pencil, 
which I think we can. So we got that cleaned up. All right, so now let's go ahead and try this new Juvia's Place, well, I should say new to me, uh, brow gel. Uh, I do, my brows are very unruly and they don't like to stay in place. Uh, so this goes on, it, it feels wet. Uh, so we'll see how it dries down. Um, I don't mind. I actually don't mind a little bit of crunch in my eyebrows. I know there's a lot of people that don't prefer that. Um, I, if I can avoid it, I will, but sometimes I have to have a little bit of crunch, meaning it's going to hold it in place. Um, so this actually feels really nice. I think I might, if this can hold my brows like this all day, that's, that's impressive. So that's the Juvia's Place Eye Sculpt. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's the one thing about these Monday uncuts, right? It you We uh, figure it all out together. Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Gel in Clear. I think I'm really liking that so far. It definitely feels like there's going to be some hold to it. We'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and I am going to use, I think I'm going to use Nutmeg, the Juvia's Place uh, Bronzer Nutmeg in my, in to contour, and then I'm gonna use Juvia's Place Buttercream to kind of um, warm up the rest of the skin. So we're gonna go in with my, let's see here. I think I actually am going to use my switch and I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush again and take so my switch, get some of that foundation off and then go in with the, again, this is nutmeg. So that's the color. I think I'm just going to go in and sculpt up here a little bit. I might just use this all over my face to as you can see there, let me get this. And you'll notice I'm using a patting motion. I just don't want to like move my makeup around too much. I guess we're just going to use the nutmeg all over. <laughs> we won't use the buttercream today. But this is a very nice formula. Now I've heard people talk about that it is, um, it has glitter in it, but I don't see that. Um, I just really like the way it looks. Go under here, kind of hide these, give a little bit of shadowing to those jowls, the lovely things we get as we get older and our skin falls and our muscles get a little more week. Just give that a blend down the neck. And that gives just a nice contour, uh, gives it a little extra shape. And then I'm going to take uh, one of my Sigma powder brushes here. Let's do this one. Uh, let's do this powder brush. And this is the Sigma E30 large powder brush. And we're just gonna go in and use this Makeup Revolution massive, massive uh, powder bronzer, if I can get it open. Try not to ruin my nails. So let's give this a try here, just to set down that bronzer. Go ahead and switch my mirror around here. Here we go. All right. All right. So that I think is looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead and open this. I can I can I tell you how excited I am about this blush lighter? I mean, I'm gonna show you the um, 
I brought over the regular Juvia's Place in this color, and I think the color is actually Blush Lily, not Pink Lily. Um, but yeah, Blush Lily Glow, and then this is the regular Blush Lily. I want to show you what these look like. Um, but I don't know if you can see just the sparkle. I know my lights are a little bit bright. Or let's go ahead and just put these on the back of my hand. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. <gasps> uh oh, I might be in trouble. I might have to uh, get some more colors. Now remember, these are very extremely, extremely pigmented. I'm using a ton of product on my hand right now. I would not even use this much to put on my face. But here are the two colors. So this is the new glow. I don't know if you can see that it's got that luminance to it and then just the regular blush lily. Ooh, I can't wait to use this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the blush lily glow on my palette here. So I'm going to use about that much. I kind of sheared it out a little bit here. And let's just see how this blends in. And I think I'm going to use my Nikki LaRose N17 brush here. I'm going to use the um, cream side. And actually, let's see here. It's going to be brush washing uh, here in the next few days. So I figure I'm just use. All right, here we go. See, I might be in a little bit closer in here. I feel like you get to see all my nooks and crannies when I get you that close. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, and I love that it has that kind of subtle glow to it. Oh, wow. Now, it does look like you could probably use a little more of this product um, than... And I'm using just the tapping motions to uh, press that in. Uh, but wow, I am really, ooh, that is pretty. You probably wouldn't need to use a highlighter with this. Uh, I might put just a little bit on since we're going for that glam look. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty. Of course, I love the Blush Lily regular formula. So I was pretty sure I was gonna love this, but oh, wow, that is just stunning. And it definitely has that luminance to it. I really, really like that, wow. Pretty, I'm so excited. I love when that happens. So uh, let's see now, we've got that. Um, I don't, I mean, it seems to be, I know the uh, other formula dries down to powder-like, there's no stick to it. Um, we're gonna let this set in a little bit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and powder underneath my under eye and I'm just going to use um, my e.l.f. Uh, translucent powder. I believe this is in Halo, the Halo Glow powder in light pink underneath my eyes here. Just tap it off. Get it really nice and good. <laughs> and then I'm going to take, I have a damp sponge and I'm just going to try to press in any creasing that I already have underneath my eyes and try to blend that out a little bit. You know, as much as I can, I do have pretty crepe, pretty pronounced creping underneath my eyes. And so, you know, I'm just, I know it's gonna crease. And I probably see it more so because I am looking in a you know, five times magnification mirror <laughs> so that I can actually see what I'm doing. So 
Um, I'm going to tap this off and then we're going to go in here with, and put this on. Uh, notice I am just tapping lightly onto here. Okay, so we got that done. Again, that was the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow setting powder from in the color light pink. Okay, so let's see. It still is a little bit tacky. I'm just going to put a, the teeniest bit of uh, this pink over top just to set it down a little bit so that it's not um, just so it doesn't remain tacky. But oh, that is so pretty. So I'm going to go in. This is Blush Duo number volume four from Juvia's Place. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly tap a little bit of powder on. And definitely, since we're going for a more glam look, I don't mind amping it up a little bit. So there we go. And if you find that you need to add a little bit of glow back for um, the blush, I mean, I really like the Juvia's Place um, highlighter. It is very, it is a beautiful, beautiful just, but it is really, again, pigmented. I just put a tiny bit on my palette and that's probably even going to be too much. I'll have to blend it on my um, finger, but I have it right there on my palette. So we'll just go ahead and add a little extra oomph to hit the high points of, although, you know, I probably really didn't need it, but I'm one of those, you never can have too much sparkle. <laughs> you never can have too much sparkle. All right, so the face is looking pretty done. I'm going to go ahead and use a setting spray now, and then I'll do another pass uh, after I do my eyes. And I'm just going to do use the Milani Make It Last Dewy and shake it up. And let's see here. Yeah. Let's get it primed. There we go. Okay, now this does have a bit of a floral fragrance to it. So if you don't like fragrance, um, you may not like this product, um, but I just wanna give it a little extra oomph and set down. All right, so it is now time to show some love to a palette that I've had for quite some time. And when I first saw that this one came out, now mostly I am a drugstore makeup girly. And usually the only time I will spend money is if I find an eyeshadow palette that I is right up my alley in the color story. Um, and this one was that palette. And I used to wear this palette every single day because I loved it that much. And so the palette I'm talking about is the Huda, Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. And I'm gonna show you this and you're gonna see that there are some colors that are very well loved in this palette. Um, but you can just see the color story in this palette is spectacular. And I am a girl who loves her purples and her mauves and her pinks. And so this palette was right up my alley. So there are palettes that I will invest in. And this was one of them back a while back when it released, but I'm so, I love this. I love this palette. And so we're gonna give it some love for Valentine's Day and we're gonna do a look. I think I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna do a purple look today. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with, um, let's see here, I'm getting my glasses back on here. I'm gonna start with Precious in the Crease, which is this color right here. And then I am going to likely deepen up the outer corner with this gorgeous purple grape, actually shimmery that I used to use this out of my outer corner. So I'm going to use that on my outer corner. And then I am going to use the Cosmic Love on the mid of my lid. 
And then we're going to go in with Moon Magic. And this color is, oh my gosh, it is so spectacular. And this is that glitter kind of formula. Um, I mean, these are just, this is just a stunning palette. I just love it so much. So as you know, may noticed already that I do have lash extensions and I am now a week in. And so we're just going to play around them, which is what I normally do. And so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and use my um, Sigma E40 brush. And we're going to start in with Empowered. I'm sorry, with Precious. And we're going to use that in the crease. And it's just a really nice neutral um, color to put in the crease. And because I have a little more real estate up here, I bring it up more on that brow bone. Um, I have very deep set eyes. And so... Um, I have a little more real estate up here, and so I usually will go a little higher than my crease on my brow bone here. Now, I did not prime my, um, I did not put an eyeshadow primer on because I found that this works really well without it. Let's go ahead and go back and then do this eye. I just loved this palette so much. It just was one of those that just was such a great, I mean, it was an everyday palette for me. Now this might, there are colors in here that you could do just a very neutral look with, um, but I'm a glam girl when it comes to makeup and so, I like to play on the glammy side of the palette. So um, I think that that is looking pretty good here. Okay, now let's, we're gonna go into Empower now. And this shadow, I wish they would sell this in an individual because I probably buy 10 of them because this purple, this color is just, it's, at, it's just stunning, 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 stunning. And I think I'm gonna go in with this brush here. And this is the E45, the small tapered blending brush. And I'm gonna use that. I'm just gonna go in here, tap off any excess. And then we're gonna go in and work on this outer V. I mean, just look at that. It's just, and again, I don't mind putting, you know, a lot of makeup artists and professionals will tell you, you know, if you have textured um, eyes or eyelids that you probably should stay away from the glitters. I'm one of those, just embrace it. I mean, we've earned these <laughs> by being, you know, by having a uh, lived life. And so I'm like, well, I see it more close up. You may not see it as much. And I'm just like, life is too short to um, not have fun and wear what makes you feel good, play, wear makeup that makes you feel good. Um, and so definitely am of that line of thinking. And so let's go ahead and get this other eye started here. I mean, these are just, oh my gosh. I definitely am going to have to put this one back into the rotation and give it some love again, because I, I just forgot. I saw it as I was going through planning for this video that um, I was just like, oh my gosh, how perfect would this be for a super glammy Valentine's look? 
not necessarily going with all the purples and or all the pinks and um but just giving it that look here oh oh so excited sorry <laughs> I get excited about these things and it's okay to get excited about these things. Um, I just love them. All right. So I am now going to go into cosmic love and put that in the middle. Uh, again, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. Just look at that. Oh, we're going to put that. We're just kind of right over top. Take it towards, you know, pretty much like two thirds of the eye and blend it in with that outer. And then I like to kind of blend it in up into that lower part of my brow bone. I mean, just look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in this side now. I mean, it's just such a stunning, stunning color. Now, I have heard that there is a company that duped this palette um, called Alter Ego, and I might try to pick that up just to compare the two because I love this one so much. And before I invest, uh, again, in another one of these, if I can find an affordable option, I am always for that. Um, so now let's see what we're going to do here. I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into Moon Moon Magic to do the inner corner and the brow bone. And actually, let's go back to our blending brush and we're going to put a little bit of the precious down underneath the eye here and i just like to pinch the brush to get underneath to just get underneath my lash line here do that on the other side here I mean, even though I am dusting off my brush, I do have a little bit of fallout. So we'll go with a big fluffy brush and try to clean that up. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of the, the other purple on the outer corner here. And just to kind of pull this all together. Why is it that we, I always open my mouth. <laughs> Like I think, I guess it thinks it gives me more real estate to work with when I do that. I don't know. Especially like when you do that with your uh, mascara. I do that with my mascara. Do you guys do that? All right, we just kind of try to blend that all in together. All right, so now let's go into this color. I just remember this color being so amazing. I mean, look at that. I mean, it just, is so stunning. I mean, really? Woo! Love, 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 love. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with my pinky here on this side to give it a little more. Get in there just a little bit more. But I mean, really, like, just look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> really, makeup and getting dressed should make you this excited. I mean, why shouldn't it? I mean, that is one of the reasons I am a huge proponent of and why dress with purpose is so important to me is that 
it's everything with purpose, you know? When you dress with purpose, it's your makeup, it's your accessories, it's your hair, it's the outfit, it's the, all of it put together. And so that's why I get so excited about this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my pencil brush, E30, and this is the pencil brush, and I'm going to put that in the Moon Magic. And I'm just going to bring that into the inner corner a little bit here. And then I'm going to put some of that in the brow bone. I mean, just. Oh, that is just so pretty. Okay, so that's the eye look. I am so excited about that. Let me go ahead and take one of my um, large powder brushes and we're just gonna go try to dust away some of that fallout. Oh, but, oh, goodness. I'm in love with this look. Oh gosh, I'm definitely gonna have to bring that back into rotation for sure. Oh, okay, so let me pull you back out here. And now we are going to, uh, let me go ahead and grab a makeup wipe and just wipe off my lips a little bit. I'm going to actually go ahead and put on some of my Aquaphor, which is what I usually do to put on my lips before I start my makeup. But I'm going to come back and I'm going to go do my hair and get dressed. I'll come back and we'll talk about the products and we'll talk about what I think about the complete look with my hair done, with my jewelry, with, with everything on and we'll talk about it all. So I'll be right back. All right, so let's pull you back out a little bit. Well, here's the, I'll do you a close up with the makeup on. Let's bring you back out, here we go. And let's go ahead and finish off the lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe up some of that. So we're going to try this clear lip pencil and see how this works. Obviously, it's not going to define, it's not going to show any color, but if you're having an issue with feathering and you don't like to wear colored lip liners, then this clear lip liner might be for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and line the lips. Just to... If I was wearing a regular lipstick and I just didn't want to do any liner, um, this would probably be a great alternative just to keep the color from feathering. I do not have that experience with these, um, with the vinyl inks. And so um, you got to give these a good shake, which we will do. And I just, this is in the color number 20 Koi. Um, just thought this pink would be a beautiful neutral colored pink lip. This one is very much like the color of my lips. Uh, we're going to add, once this dries down, we're going to add a, another Maybelline gloss on top. Uh, this is definitely the color of my lips, but better. Okay. So we got that on. I'll let that dry down a little bit. Now let's talk about the products. 
Um, I am really impressed with this Revlon Illuminance. Um, it definitely, I would say, has a medium coverage. It does give a natural finish. It's not super glowy. Um, I don't feel like it's making my face feel tighter because it's dry. Um, but I definitely will be giving this some more love in my daily rotation um, and see how this plays out. So that's that. The Milani Conceal and Perfect. <laughs> if you could see my desk. Uh, the Milani Conceal and Perfect, which was new to me. Um, you know, I like it. Do I like it as much as my... ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealers. No, um, but I'll see how this wears through the day. I mean, it doesn't feel dry. I mean, actually it does feel a little bit drying under my eyes, um, but it's very pretty. It's very nice. Again, I don't think this would replace my Holy Grail, um, but I'll have to play with this some more to see how it works. Um, maybe try this on a day that maybe isn't so glam and see how that plays out. And then let's talk about the um, contour and contour powder. Of course, I've used both of these products before. Um, I really love the Juvia's Place um, bronzers. They're very pretty. This is probably the coolest one that they have. Uh, most of the rest of them are pretty warm. I love that um, even though Juvia's Place could be considered more of a darker skin friendly line, I like that they do come out with skin with colors that would be for lighter skin tones. And then of course, um, this is more of a mattifying or more matte bronzing powder that I like just to, you know, finish off the look. So love those, uh, especially love the Juvia's Place um, contour, the, the cream there. Love, love, love that. Everything I've pretty much tried from Juvia's Place, I've really, really, really loved and enjoyed. Um, the gel, eyebrow gel that's new to me, I'm impressed. This is, you know, normally when I go do my hair and I'm dressed, my eyebrows have kind of fallen back into their unruly place. And this, I have not noticed that. So super excited about that. Not as excited about the color of this pen. I may try to pick up the color taupe and see if that works better because I love the taupe pencil. So those were my three brow products. And then, um, oh my gosh, I realized I didn't even put, uh, I did not put mascara on my lower lash line. I reach into my mascara drawer here and I'm just going to use the voluminous, um, <laughs> oh, the joys of getting old, the voluminous original L'Oreal. Um, it just came in a travel size, so let me get that underneath my eyes here. Just to give those a little bit. Oh, the joys of getting old and forgetting things. Good thing I'm recording this. <laughs> I may have walked out the house without doing my lower lash line. This is a nice product for your lower lash line. Um, one of the other products I did get a free sample of, um, I forget with one of my orders was the Fenty and I really like the Fenty one. So I'll have to show you guys that sometime. But there's the L'Oreal. And so we'll just clean up the, <laughs> the bottom lash line there. Okay. Oh, I didn't talk about this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nice. I don't really have a lot of noticeable pores. So this probably is not really something that I will use regularly. Maybe if I'm doing a glam look, um, 
more then maybe i'll use this just to make sure everything stays in place it was nice it felt silky if you have pores i can't tell you that it's going to fill it in but from the um, influencers that i watch they say that this is really good for filling in pores um, and it the liquid it feels very silky and lightweight so i definitely did like that just don't know if it's product that ne necessarily i will use on an ongoing basis um, but Oh my goodness. Can we just talk about one of the stars of the show? Yes, yes, and yes on these Juvia Place blush, uh, blush lighters. Gorgeous. I have one other color in Barbie Rose and I may need to pick up, I may. I don't think they're available on Ulta yet. I bought these directly off of Juvia's Place's website. They do have a $50 minimum order, which is why, um, I picked up the uh, the the brow gel and a few other little things, another little uh, four quad palette that was on sale. Um, but I mean, it's just stunning. It's it's gorgeous. I I mean, this is the original one I have, so both A plus A plus ten 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 love 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 um so can't wait to play with that some more obviously i use the juvia's place uh highlighter and starstruck i've used this before it is a great product uh use the elf halo glow in light pink underneath my eyes used uh the make it last dewy spray we're going to put one more um spritz of that on the clear maybelline lip liner if you have if you tend to get feathering which i can because i do have deeper lines around my lips um, this might be a good solution for if you have that feathering with regular lipsticks um, this might be a great solution if you don't like to put on colored lip liner so excited to try this a little bit more with the lipsticks that I tend to do, get a little teeny bit of feathering out in that. Um, then of course I put on my, we use the Juvia's Place um, Volume 4. I literally just lightly dusted it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Uh, two shades, I mean, you can't beat that. Um, this will definitely be something I will be using more and more again during the summer. I mean, I used this all summer and it doesn't even look like I touched it. So love that. I uh, used the um, Maybelline Vinyl Ink in the color Koi on my lips. I'm going to go ahead and top that off with the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, which I love. And this is in the color Bubblegum. So I'm just going to put that on top just to get a little bit more mm. I'm trying to think does this have a scent it does I don't know cupcake almost colored smells doesn't quite smell like bubble gum but I love how the shade turns out on that and then my I re-fell in love with my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette I mean this eye look, I just am in love with it. It is so pretty. And the color story in here is just spectacular. I mean, it's got plenty of neutrals. So if you just want an everyday palette, it's something that could work for every day. Um, but if you want to go glam, you can go glam. Uh, so I definitely think that this is worth the investment. I'm definitely going to pick up the one that says it's a dupe from Alter Ego and maybe I'll do a side by side to see if it is really so you can save some money, which is all about what I love. So, so this is the final look for today. I'm super excited with it. So, whether you're staying in or going out, I hope you have some fun playing with some makeup, whether you go glam or soft glam or more natural for Valentine's Day. I hope that you will fall in love with playing with makeup. And remember that you get to choose every day to dress with purpose. Mm -hmm.